Are you using GetResponse to send newsletters, but want to make more money from your email list? If so, keep watching this short video. GetResponse is perfect for building email lists, sending newsletters, and much more. But how can we monetize our contacts after capturing their info? Well, today we'll explain the simple way many GetResponse users are growing their brands and converting emails into earnings. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. So how do we convert our email list into a steady stream of income? Well, the answer is simple and something everyone should set up. You can easily generate revenue from email lists by automatically adding get response contacts into your own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected to your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, we can gather our contacts into one platform, sell monthly subscriptions, have a professional directory of all of our contacts where they can manage their own profiles and interact with each other. And best of all, you can show off the size of the community that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff sending our get response contacts to our brilliant directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this will also work with other integration platforms like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. Okay, so here we are logged into our get response dashboard. And if we click on the menu item for tools and then landing pages, you can see that we've created our own landing page inside of get response called general signup form. And here is exactly what that signup form looks like. So in this example, we're going to fill out this form inside of our landing page. And once we fill out this form, we are going to automatically create a member profile inside of our subscriber community website, which is hosted by brilliant directories. And here is our subscriber community. You can see that we just hit 70 users at the time of this recording. And when someone signs up inside of this get response form, they're going to be automatically added to this community with their name and their email address. So the very first thing we have to do to set up this integration is head over to Zapier. So we're going to go in here and then we're going to click on create a zap up here in the top left hand corner. Now, once this loads up, we have to select our trigger. Our trigger is going to be get response. So we're going to click on get response. And for the event that's going to take place, it's going to be a new contact. So anytime a new contact is added to our get response account, we want this action to happen. Okay. So we're going to go to continue. Then we need to sign in with our get response account. So we're going to click on sign in and that's going to open up this little pop-up window from Zapier. So what we need here is our API key. Now inside of here, we actually have this little hyperlink that we can click on. So we're going to click on that. And that's actually going to redirect us to the page that we need to go to inside of get response. And if this is your first time creating an API key inside of get response, you'll see this big blue button right here. So we're going to click on that and it's going to ask us to give it a name. So we're just going to call this Zapier test and then click on generate. And that's going to give us the key here and we can click on copy and we can head back inside of that pop-up window and paste it in there just like that for the account type. We have just a regular get response account. And we do not have to enter a max domain name here at the bottom. So we're going to click on yes and continue. Once we do that, we can see our brilliant directories account is now synced up and we can click on continue. Then we need to select our email list from inside of get response. And mine is called subscriber list. So I'm going to select that, click on continue. Then we're going to test the trigger just to make sure everything is integrated correctly. And as we can see here, everything is integrated. So we can click on continue. Now we want to set up our action. So in this case, it's going to be brilliant directories because we want to automatically add these new contacts into our brilliant directories. Now for the event, we're going to go ahead and go with create a user. We're going to select that, click on continue, and then we need to choose our brilliant directories account to connect a new brilliant directories account. This little pop-up is going to open up here and we need to enter our website URL and our API key. Now, same as before, we can actually click on the API details hyperlink here, and that's going to redirect us to the page inside of our brilliant directories account that we need to go to. So once we're inside at the top, right, we're going to click on generate API key, and that's going to open up a window where we need to give it a name. I'm going to call mine get response key and click on save API key. Once I do that, it's going to give us our key here. I'm going to copy that, and then we're going to close out of that. 
And then back inside of the pop-up form, we're gonna paste in the API key that we just created. Next, we need our website URL. So we can actually go back inside of our Brilliant directories. And at the top right, this little orange button that says visit website, we can actually click on that. That's gonna open up our Brilliant directories website. And then we can actually just copy the URL from the address bar and then go back inside of that pop-up window. Then we can just paste it in there just like that. And what we need to do here is actually delete anything after the .com. All we want is the URL up to the .com and delete anything after that, all right? And then click on yes, continue. And once we have that connected, we now wanna map the data together that we are collecting inside of GetResponse. So if you remember, we are collecting their name and their email address. So back inside of Zapier for the email address, we're gonna click in there and we are going to click on email. And then for the name, we're gonna scroll down here to first name and we are going to click on name, just like so. And once we have all of our information mapped together inside of Zapier, we're gonna to scroll to the bottom and click on continue. And once we continue, we're gonna go ahead and test the action again, just to make sure everything is integrated successfully. And as we can see here, once this wraps up, a user was sent successfully to Brilliant Directories. So now what we wanna do, now that we have that set up, we wanna go ahead and click on publish, zap, and then publish and turn on. So now this app is live and it's ready to go. So now what I wanna do is I wanna test it just to make sure that we automatically get added to our subscriber community. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my form here and we are gonna fill out the details here. And I'm gonna enter my name as Thomas Leonard and my email address and click on sign up now. And that's gonna bring us to the thank you page. Now, assuming everything works successfully, we're gonna head over here to our subscriber community and we're gonna go ahead and refresh this. And once we have that refresh, we can see Thomas Leonard has been automatically added to our Brilliant Directories subscriber community. And there we have it. If you have a GetResponse account, this is a must-have integration that you'll want to set up. To start monetizing your GetResponse email list with a Brilliant Directories website, just click the free trial link in the description below. You'll also receive full access to all of our growth strategies and more. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.